Hello there, YouTube. Hi. Here is the beginning of a brand new series, Kerbal Space Program. We're in version 0 0.22, uh, the final released version, not the preview. Uh, for those who don't know, yeah, I'm the Winter Owl, sometimes known as White Owl, sometimes known as Matt. Call me any one of those. Let's immediately jump into this thing. Yeah, we're going to be doing the career, oh, the career mode. I, I haven't actually flown this. I just uh, started it to get it set up. I'm going to call it the Let's Fly, because that's what this is. Let's Fly Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we'll continue into here. Uh, this is, uh, as just about everything that I do, this is heavily modded. We have the, uh, you know what, I forgot what, yeah, the Kerbal ISP Difficulty Scaler. For a second, I forgot what KIDS stands for. Um, this is something that it affects all of the the engines, the, the SRBs and liquid-fueled engines in the game, and it adjusts their ISP. First of all, it, it, it adjusts them so that uh, engine's thrust varies with ISP, which is really the way it's supposed to work, but it's also it scales everything downward. Uh, one thing about using FAR, Ferrum's Aerospace Research, uh, if you have a streamlined vehicle, it ends up being kind of easier to use than in stock Kerbal Space Program. It becomes too easy to get to orbit quite often. This mod, uh, it, it exists in order to affect, in order to correct that problem. We've got this research and development overview down here. I like this. This will help me keep track of the various uh, experiments that I do and what research I've done. Uh, what also you don't see because I already loaded it, I the we have a a modded tech tree. Well, first off, I suppose you can see. Take a look at this. Uh, yeah, we start off with we don't even have a communitron. We have a and we don't even have any liquid engines. Uh, yeah, our, at our start we have a, a pod, we have an SRB, and a parachute, and these are the Kerbal engineer parts. <laughs> I, I'm pleased with this. Yeah, we're using the uh, what what they've come out with the the more man I can't remember what this mod is called a tree tree controller. Yeah, it gives it lets you have a bunch of different tech trees. I am using Yargnet's tech tree. Uh, I have also added just a few mod parts. I'm thinking that this particular series we're not going to go crazy with the mod parts. Uh, basically what I've added to it are stretchy fuel tanks, stretchy solid rocket boosters, procedural fairings, procedural wings. Things that I can use to make my own parts actually in-game. Uh, and we've also got... Uh, there's a, a, another mod which I saw in just reading form wasn't getting a whole lot of attention. Uh, that actually scales down all of the return to science. Uh, what Re Regex, as guy, he he shared several config files. So my my for each experiment that I do, I'm actually going to be uh, gathering science at about one third the rate of the stock game. So between the modified tech tree and the modified rate of science gain. I anticipate this is probably going to take a little while. Uh, it takes several launches. Come on, game. Can we can we load this? Here we go. All right. Let's hide this one. Jebediah Kerman. Kerbal among Kerbals. There he is. Uh, first off, let's... Yeah, just, just to get from the very start. Crew report. What do we got? I record my crew's assessment of the situation. Report from the launch pad. You notice scientific value 0 0.5. This is actually smaller than some others that we might see. Uh, Jeb. EBA. Let go of that. Jeb died. It is the man. He the hero. Uh, I will point out one thing. Oh, wow, we've got a little... Uh, my, my picture for this tab didn't work. Uh, wait, also, one thing that I did uh, set up, I've got in my crew roster, I've, I've got several of viewers' names still. If you want to have a Kerbal named after you, or not necessarily named after you, if you just have a suggestion for a Kerbal name... Uh, you just put, leave it in the comments to any one of these videos. Jeb, uh, EVA report. Yeah, spacesuit is not entirely necessary. EVA report from launch pad. Get a little bit of science for that. Let's keep that. Jeb, take a surface sample. Surface is charred and coated with burnt rocket propellant. There are also trace amounts of a conspicuous green substance. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we'll worry about just what exactly that conspicuous amount of green substance may be later. Store those experiments. Here we go. 
can't believe we're still... Yeah, they need to change this font. That's a lot of the time it can be really difficult to read. All right, get in there. So there's our very first set of experiments. Recover my vessel. So I gather a grand total of four science for that. I forget how much science do I actually need to unlock the next step. I need... 15 science. So yeah, you see that this uh, this mod this modded tech tree is going to be significantly slower than the stock. All right, let's just duplicate this uh, duplicate this system over here. Here we go. Might as well get the the really easy stuff out of the way first, you know. Launch. Come on. My hopes for this. So as I as I jump through and we get just the the really simple stuff. Uh, crew report from the runway. Thank you. Good thing there's not a lot of air traffic because I don't think we ever got clearance from the tower to be here. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a fact. Uh, let's keep that one. EVA, Jeb. You see his lights were flashing here for a second. Uh, EVA report. This is EVA report from KSC, which is actually different from um, the launch pad. So yeah, we'll keep that and take a surface sample. This is what makes the scientists yell at us when going to the labs without cleaning our boots first. <laughs> I like that. Let's store those experiments. Okay, Jeb, get back in the capsule. Recover vessel. Um, ooh, okay, so we got 4.3 science in that one. 8 science, so we cannot yet uh, un unlock the very next X tab. I, I guess, Jeb... We're gonna have to fly somewhere. <laughs> I've had a kind of a change of attitude after seeing the basics of how some of this tech tree is set up. Uh, yeah, I, I am more on board with this now than I was previously. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll do some manned uh, manned rocketry first, uh, and 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 we'll enjoy it. This will be a good time. Let me see here. Do that. Notice we don't even have any tail fins or anything to stick on that thing. I could stick Kerbal Engineers bit on there, but that wouldn't do any good. You know what I want to do, though, because I, I hate this stock color. Um, let's go. I've got just basic black. Here we go. Kerbal Paint. Mod that I like a whole lot. That's one reason why, uh, you know, uh, well, one, re one re the main reason is for uh, simplicity's sake, why I'm cutting down on how many mod parts I use, but also the other reason is so I can play around with this Kerbal Paint mod. Okay. Do, do we want to name? Yeah, let's let's name this thing. Uh, let me see. What am I? What am I going to call it? Uh, Kerbal, Kerb flight. Here we go. That's Kerb flight one. <laughs> see, this is going to be. Yeah. Okay. So in this world. Uh, Kerbals have not yet invented airplanes. This is the very first time that a Kerbal is going to take to the skies. This is the, the way that they figured out how to do it, because they don't know anything about wings. Come to think of it, well, I hear the birds. Yeah, maybe maybe they just haven't figured out wings yet. Let's launch it. Launch, I said. Come on. Come on, game. Let's go. Let's close that again. Open this up. Good. Okay, Jeb, you're a hero. You were the man of the day. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll aim for a splashdown because I've I have my my doubts about the the landability of this thing coming straight down on a spent solid rocket booster. So we're definitely aiming for the water. I just want to find out what is what is what is the air like up there. All right, tell us, Jeb. Yeah. Oh man, did I do that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how long have I been playing this game? You're supposed to check the staging. Yeah, that's kind of an unfortunate, unfortunate um, result there. Maybe we can recover this a little bit. I mean, the, the parachute part survived. <laughs> Jab, man! Can we recover this bit? Can we get a little bit of science for that? <laughs> oh, and I know everybody watching, they saw it. I didn't check the staging. They're all yelling at me. Oh, I don't get anything for that? Oh, come on. Uh, here, here, let's get back in here. <laughs> Staging. Yeah, you need you need to have separate stages on these things. So that's, I mean, that should be a little bit of science that we just learned right there. Curb flight. Zero one. 
A. Let's go capitals. There we go. Save that and launch it. Yeah, everything that I was saying earlier is still applies. Right, we're going for a splashdown. <laughs> we learned that the parachute does actually work. <laughs> it deployed just fine. Uh, so that that was a useful result. Uh, and and Jebediah leaves. Yeah, Jebediah leaves the 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 field and leaves the chapter of his story. His his chapter is done. And now we got Bill. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Oh, much better. Angle over just a little bit because we want to go into the water. And I think there's probably no more steering that needs done at this point. You're already supersonic. We're got punishingly high G's. I'll tell you the one thing, as I went and I... Here we go, let's get this. Crew report. Crew report while flying over Kerbin's shores. Actually, I think I want to see how high we'll get. You know, I think I'd rather get the crew report for upper atmosphere, if it'll allow me. Now let's discard that data at the moment. Let's get crew report still over... The shores, how high are we going to go? I want to get the one for upper atmosphere because if we do get around to getting uh, airplanes unlocked, that may be better for getting that crew report. Uh, while flying over Kerbin's shores, thank you. And we'll keep it just in case, you know, something better shows up. And that mean just in case nothing better shows up. Um, we're arcing over. That's about as high as we're going to get. Crew report. Crew report. All right. Well, I guess we're going to keep it. We're not going to get the upper atmosphere crew report. <laughs> Wee. Matter of fact, I should probably so it'll so it'll descend like in the correct direction. I should probably deploy that chute now. Let's see if we can. If I point this the other way, does my vehicle have enough torque? Ah, it doesn't even have enough torque to do that. If I rock it over here, like that. Alright, well, the parachute will correct it when it gets down lower. Bill, how you doing, man? You enjoying it? Having a good time? I'm sure it'll work out uh, just fine, Bill. It's just you wait and see. It's the worst that could possibly happen. Bill, I want you to strap your enormous head in... Uh, tightly for whenever that parachute actually deploys and snaps this vehicle's orientation around 180 degrees. Because I anticipate that could be a problem when that happens. Yeah, and just, just, or just, you know, close your eyes and hum, grit your teeth. It's going to be just a few more seconds. Anyway, Bill, yeah, first Kerbal to leave it. Well, I suppose technically. Whoa, all right. There's a big snap. Yeah, Bill, he's okay with it. He didn't even bother him. I suppose technically Jebediah was the first Kerbal to, to leave the ground. He just, you know, for just briefly. He, he was there, you know. He just didn't have the opportunity to tell anybody about whether it was good or whether it was bad. And slow it back down. I wonder, will this still break the SRB upon hitting water? I don't know. Nope! Stays very nicely intact. Okay, okay. Bill, let's do EVA. I want a surface sample. Let go of that. Go swimming. Alright, Bill, I want an EVA report. What do we have? EVA report from Kerbin's water. Get a little bit of science out of that. I want a surface sample. It dramatically increases the surface humidity of anything it touches. Uh, we get more science for that. Let's keep that. Let's store the experiments. There it is. Good. Now, get back in. Um, you, oh, okay. Oh, now we're rolling it over the other direction. I suppose we don't really have to get back in for this to work. It's very, very slowly rolling. Oh, no, I'm bumping it back the other direction. Well, here, let's just bump it harder. There we go. Come around over here. Catch it, catch it, catch it. There we go. Oh, not quite. Come on, come on. Bill, come on, man. 
Grab that thing. Bill, Bill, come on. Come on, Bill. I think he never swam before or something. Notice that his head remains completely out of the water. You'd think that that's where most of a Kerbal's buoyancy would be, is his head. But no, it's actually his body. Uh, because uh, his head, his entire upper torso, well, I suppose that could be largely because of the spacesuit. The spacesuit has a high degree of flotation to it. Uh, I don't know if he can get in. Come on, Bill, I believe in you, you can do it. All right, okay, okay, hang on, hang on, stop. Oh, it's gone. It's rolled over. All right, we're going to stop messing with it. Uh, first off, let's recover Bill. I think we don't get any science for recovering Bill, which is kind of unfortunate. You'd think that recovering a live Kerbal after a flight, that would be worth something. But he kept all his mess, all his notes in the vehicle. Let's recover the vehicle. Thank you. And, ooh, now I have 19 science because I gained 11 on that mission. How about that? Yeah, crew report, all flying, surface sample, EV report, and recovery of a vessel that survived a flight. How about that? Done. All right. I believe that means I get to unlock the next science tab, doesn't it? So let's get into here. I have 19 science. The next tab for basic rocketry costs 15 science. And what does that get us? We get the small, you know, little stock engine. Uh, we also... See, I intend I'm not going to be using these fuel tanks. I'm going to be using the stretchy fuel tanks because these can be any fuel tank I want. The, so, uh, yeah, we get a liquid-fueled rocket engine, we get liquid fuel tanks, and we get stack decouplers. Uh, we also open up, see what's in our other tabs here. A little probe core, goo containment units, landing struts. How about this one? General rocketry. Bigger engines. Yeah, you gotta like those bigger engines. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let me see, which one of those would I go for next? This one's 20 science. This one's 30. Well, I suppose I might as well go for the lower cost one for next. But first, let's see what we can do. The little engine and a stretchy fuel tank, huh? 